First, I want to take a little bit of pasta water out, save it for later, the thing I always forget. And now what I'm going to... Brava, 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 brava. See, she's very honest. You always forget. Try not to forget. Have a cup of cream. Oh. Ina, why are you using cream? Why are you using cream, Ina? You're so good, Ina. Why? The mix. Now I'm going to take the peas. I'm just going to put them in for a... Oh my god, Ina. Have you watched Gordon Ramsay video? Why everyone watch Gordon Ramsay video? Look at that. <coughs> okay, now this really hot pasta and vegetables goes right into the sauce. Aspetta, wait. Where is the pecorino cheese? Where is the cheese? Da, 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 da. Hi guys, in this video we are reacting to Ina Garten Spring Green Spaghetti Carbonara. I love Ina and I would love to cook with Ina. Yes, please Ina, invite me to your kitchen. Guys, you can be creative with carbonara. If you're vegetarian, you make it vegetarian. You want it with seafood, you make it with seafood. You just need to follow the rules. You can watch my crazy creative carbonara series on my YouTube channel where I show you how to make carbonara different ways. Not the traditional way with guanciale, but done the right way. Spring green spaghetti carbonara. I've cooked spaghetti for about eight minutes, which is less than al dente, and I'm gonna show you why. So first- Well done, Ina, see? She knows it's a good trick to make the pasta creamier. And I'll show you why, like she said. First, I want to take a little bit of pasta water out, save it for later, the thing I always forget. And now what I'm going to... Brava, 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 brava. See, she's very honest. You always forget. Try not to forget. But lots of people forget. The pasta water, it's probably one of the most important ingredients in pasta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spring green vegetables, julienne snow peas, and sliced asparagus. That's a nice uh, vegetarian carbonara. So she's basically cooking these vegetables, boiling the vegetables with the pasta. So the pasta gets the flavor of the vegetables, similar technique that you use when you make spaghetti broccoli. So I like it. And I'm just gonna finish cooking the pasta and the vegetables together. How clever was that? Very clever. So I cooked pancetta just until it's nice and brown and crispy. Use pancetta, as you know, guanciale, pig chick, is what you use. But pancetta can be used if you don't find guanciale. Guanciale is the pig chick. So it has different flavors to pancetta, which is the pork belly, the bacon, pork belly, different part of the pig, so different flavors. But pancetta is as close to the guanciale. So I'm gonna just take it out and let it drain on a paper towel. I'm gonna add it later, so it's really crispy. Nice, nice, nice. That's nice to have nice, crispy uh, pancetta. I like to have my guanciale uh, out, so like crispy, but also I like to keep some in the pan, so I have some soft and some crispy. Okay, now I'm gonna make the sauce, and I'm doing something really unusual, but it really works. I'm gonna take a big bowl and fill it with the hottest tap water. And that's gonna warm the bowl. So when the raw eggs and cream go into this bowl, it's gonna cook it a little bit. Okay. What are you trying to do here? So just fill it up, empty it, and then immediately I'm gonna put in two eggs and two egg yolks. I didn't understand that. What happened? Why did you do that? I mean, you could have put the bowl on top of the pot, so the steam from the boiling water will do that to you. What are you trying to do? Have a cup of cream. Oh. Ina, why are you using cream? Why are you using cream, Ina? You're so good, Ina. Why? You don't use cream for carbonara, Ina. Well, in 2022, everybody knows. I know the videos from 2021. Ask Food Network to, to delete it. This is not good. And the hot pasta water that I just reserved. I'm just going to whisk them together. So this gets the egg. She did 
put a lot of water in there. Okay, so now with the water, you need to be gentle because if you make it too runny, it could be hard to turn this into carbonara. Eggs sort of starting to cook for the carbonara. Okay, so that's... It's very runny. Uh, so you do need lots of cheese to make it nice and thick. The mix. Now I'm going to take the peas. I'm just going to put them in for a... Oh my god, Ina. Have you watched Gordon Ramsay video? Why everyone watch Gordon Ramsay video? Why so many of you are following Gordon Ramsay? Come on, this is England. Some fresh peas, <laughs> fresh frozen. Look at that. <coughs> Why do you trust Gordon Ramsay for carbonara? Tell me in a comment below. For a second, just to heat them up. Give it a stir. Just love the way it looks. Time okay. I like what you're doing with the boiling of the vegetables. Those vegetables you use are already crunchy, like asparagus, um, snow peas, they, they, they are crunchy, okay? It, it is best maybe to cook them in the oil in the pan to make it crunchier, but I don't know what you're doing, it's fine. But the peas, what experience are you giving me with the peas? I want crunchy with carbonara. I don't want peas. I don't want peas. Peas I love, yes, but not peas. Time to drain it. I'm just gonna drain the whole thing together. I hope she kept some pasta water, just in case. Maybe she forgot. Okay, now this really hot pasta and vegetables goes right into the sauce. Aspetta, wait. Where is the pecorino cheese? This is carbonara. Where is the pecorino cheese? Where is the cheese? Or the parmigiano reggiano. Or the grana padano. At this point, I accept you to use grana padano or parmigiano, but you need the cheese. You can't put cream and pasta water and call it carbonara. Come on, Ina, please. Don't do that. And it finishes the cooking. Big stir, just you want all that cream and the cooking liquid to just get absorbed into the pasta. Yeah, but what did you do there? I don't understand why, why you use the eggs. The next time, just use the cream. You don't need eggs and pasta water. What for? <laughs> There's no point to use the eggs. Just put the cream if you want to use a creamy pasta. Carbonara uh, makes no sense. There's no point to use eggs and cream if you don't put the pecorino in there. Okay, now I'm going to add lots more flavor. So first I've got... More flavors? Don't you have enough? What do you want? Scallions that have been julienned. Scallions? Ina. Ina. I think now Gordon Ramsay probably watched you making this and he copied you because I don't know who is worse. Ina, don't do, don't do this to me, Ina. I love you so much. I wish you call me next time you call me and say, hey Vincenzo, I'm gonna make this dish. Give me some advice. But don't do this. Don't be creative with spaghetti carbonara if you don't know how to make it, Ina. I love you so much, Ina, please. You have so many great people following you, including me, I love you. Please, Ina, don't embarrass yourself at Gordon. About a quarter of a cup of chopped chives. We're not making Chinese dumplings. We don't need this for carbonara. Too many ingredients. Carbonara is three, four ingredients. I understand you want to replace the, the pancetta, the guanciale with vegetables. But now you're adding all these vegetables and the cream is not even done right with pecorino and egg. So how can you call this carbonara? What's carbonara about this? There's nothing that reminds me of carbonara here. No, even one, only the eggs is the only ingredient. Lots of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, Parmigiano. By the way, the Parmigiano goes in the eggs. You mix the eggs, beat the eggs with the Parmigiano. In my case, Pecorino, in Rome they use Pecorino. Or you mix Pecorino and Parmigiano if you don't like the cheese to be very salty. I like it salty. Mix, 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 and then you add the mixture to the pasta. In this case, I don't know what's gonna turn out. I don't know what this is gonna turn out. And lemon, I like that. Lemon. Unacceptable condition! Unacceptable! So you, here you mixed. A technique of pasta broccoli. Then you use lemon pasta, the lemon, which is a nice touch, but how many ingredients do you have? Then you have a uh, peas pasta, which is a different technique of making peas. The pancetta disappeared now, I don't know where the pancetta went. 
What is the pancetta used for? Look how many ingredients you're using. Two main ingredients. Edge of lemon in this. Okay, that's the zest. And now a squeeze of lemon juice. Lemon juice in carbonara. Ina. Why do you need to add more and more and more and more in there? When you can enjoy beautiful flavors. Huh? Made with simple ingredients. You don't need too much, guys. You do not need too much. Learn how to cook with top quality ingredients and get the best flavors out of them. Now, lots of salt and pepper. And pe lots of salt and pepper, Ina. You put salt in the pasta water. You're meant to use a lot of cheese, so that's the salt for this dish. Why do you need to put so much salt and pepper? Pepper, yes, yeah, sorry, but why do you need to put so much salt? Huh? Pepper? Go crazy with the pepper. And now the pancetta. The final flavor in this. Wait. You can add some pancetta now, before you mix everything, but you need to keep some on the side so you can decorate the pancetta at the end, okay? The reason why you make it crispy is because when you serve the pasta, you can add the pancetta guanciale on top of the served dish. So when you eat it, you have that beautiful crunchy pancetta in there, okay? So hopefully you do half in the mix and the other half you keep to serve. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my carbonara video, the latest carbonara video from 2021. So crispy pancetta right on top. Just pour it right in. You can see all the vegetables and the pancetta. I don't know. Where is the carbonara here? Where is it? Where is the cream from the carbonara? Look, I can see the peas. I can see all the vegetables. But does it look like a carbonara to you? Be honest. To all of you who know what carbonara look like, does this look like a carbonara? At this point? Put some parsley, please. If you do not put parsley, I will be very sad. He added everything in there. The parsley is missing. That's my complaint. And it stays really hot. And it's still going to keep absorbing the sauce. A little garnish, I think. A little more fresh chive. And <laughs> Chives, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I hope you put parsley at this point. Come on, do it. Next, Parmesan cheese. And maybe a little squeeze of lemon right at the end. When you need something really comforting, you don't want I understand you want to copy Gordon Ramsay, or he copied you. He did crazy by using cream fresh and other stupid ingredients. By you adding the, the chives and the lemon, you know, it really, really disappointed me. You don't want something too rich. I would say spring green. You don't want something too rich. Ina, I recommend you to go to Rome. Do not go to touristy restaurants. Okay, go to Rome, enjoy a nice carbonara done the right way. It's rich with three flavors. This is extremely rich with 200 flavors. How do I taste carbonara? Plus this extra lemon is gonna take me to Amalfi Coast. Is this how they make carbonara in the Amalfi Coast? I don't believe so. In spaghetti carbonara is just the thing. Say it again. Spring green spaghetti carbonara is just the thing. It's just a thing. Where? Where? Where is the thing? If I was going to make this, hmm, I would use asparagus like you did. I would use spring onion like you did. Boil them. Great. They're crunchy. But bene. Maybe I chopped them up a little bit smaller because they were too big. Yeah. Then I would do a pecorino and eggs mix with lots of pepper when the pasta and the vegetables cut in small pieces are ready. Put them in a hot pan, mm? mix, 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 stir everything, add a little bit of pasta water, then you add the, mix, the egg mixture with the pecorino and parmigiano reggiano, mix, make the cream, serve, and then you put the pancetta on top with extra pepper and maybe extra pecorino. That's how I will do a creative spring green spaghetti carbonara. What you did, it's a mess. You just put 
everything in there, everything you saw in the fridge, put in there. Technique for carbonara was not used. The only ingredient I've seen right here are the eggs. What for? There's no need to use eggs. Do you understand? Do you guys understand what I'm talking about here? Huh? These people go on, on, on TV, national TV is teaching you to do the wrong thing. And it's not right. It's not right. You know, since I've been doing this, I haven't been invited to, from one TV station to go and do one recipe. And I see so many Italian recipes done every single day on TV. I haven't been invited to one. And I will go for free to do it. I don't need money. These people go on TV, they get paid so much money and still do it wrong. So, who fault is this? Is it your fault, my fault, for watching the TV shows done the wrong way? Or is it me trying to change the world, but I can't do it? Um, is it my fault or their fault? I don't understand. I'm not hungry for more. So guys, please share a comment below. We need to understand what's going on here. Do I keep fighting? Because guys, I do it for you, to all of you who have decided to change the way you eat Italian cuisine. And you always send me, you know, messages or uh, you tag me on your Instagram and I see everything you do. And I'm so proud when I see you creating an Italian dish done the right way and then you tag me and say, Vincenzo, thank you for teaching me this. Makes me so happy. So it is worth it because of you. Because you will love it and because you want this. But there are so many other people who do not, don't know about Vincenzo's plate or the recipe done the right way. And what they do is they follow this type of recipes or Gordon Ramsay recipes. And then what happens? The world is gonna become a big, big mess. Wrong information is shared and everyone is like, yeah, whatever. And if that's the case, nobody will enjoy carbonara done the right way, which is very sad. Do you agree? So thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next reaction video. E ora I'm going to make a real carbonara. <laughs> Vincenzo's plate. Ciao.